Welcome to another Buzz Digital CQ5 screencast, the fourth and final one in the mobile website series. Previously, we created the the rollout website uh, structure and uh, propagated the content. Since uh, we had left you last time, I've already fixed and regenerated the so that every single page is with the correct uh, resource type and template uh, properties. So now the content can finally show up. It is still not a mobile site in the CQ5 since we cannot render it in the special mobile uh, CSS. But since we've already seen that, it shouldn't be too hard to actually include. Go to page properties, mobile tab, and add the device groups. Now that that is done, it should be rendered in the in the specific devices. Next we're going to add some extra content to the site. Um, we're going to change to Safari. Localhost 454 Again. Websites, just to check it out. We're doing services. So we're going to boss world up one, yes, boss services to use the same page. Once here, we should be able to edit the parser system to include different components. So let's go into design mode. Let, and there we go, we can now edit the accordion. And include the mobile elements. And just because they should be included, let's include the boss elements as well. Let's hit OK. And now we can include, let's include a mobile element. We'll be including uh, including a mobile image, mobile text image, I say. OK, as a text. As the text says, this text should only be visible on this side and should not propagate back into the blueprint site. And we're going to add a small picture here. And we'll leave this as is. Now, this side comes from the boss rollout site, so let's just check it out that our services did not suddenly pop up with that uh, content we added in. And yeah. so you can see the text image is nowhere to be seen here in the original site. So now what we're going to do, we're going to add so an element here, let's see, I'm gonna I'm going to add the just a simple text element. Since we're changing the uh, blueprint site, this should propagate into our mobile site. So we're gonna put the text here. 
as soon as this decides to co cooperate through it all. it. It's there. Now we're just going to do a quick check on this site. Reload. And uh, once it loads up, we have the original, the original text image we changed, but we do not have the other element that we changed on the, on the blueprint side. That is because you need to propagate it intentionally when rolling out. If you remember the, if you remember the rollout configurations that we included here, uh, here we go. Both model specific. The trigger is on rollout. So in order to roll out the site, we need to go into MSM Control Center. We're gonna double click bus site. We're gonna go into the MSM Blueprint Control Center. Once here, you can actually see on this side the pages that depend on the blueprint. This yellow square here corresponds to this blueprint page has been modified since last rollout. If we want to roll out the changes, all we click, all we do is click here on right click on services and click here on rollout. We're going to roll out the entire page and we're cutting a rollout page and subpages, but there is no subpage, so let's just leave it like this. Okay, this is the, side of the page specifically that we're gonna roll out, so we roll out. And now this should look green and up to date with the blueprint. So if we reload this side again, the change we made should now be visible here. see it comes from the you can see it perfectly here and the change we made before is before it this is because uh, this element was included before the other one was rolled out and when passing it on it was thrown at the bottom of this list and if we wanted to we could actually move this down Apparently not. Should move. Why is it not letting me? Ah, I remember now. I need to break inheritance in order to be able to modify this from the uh, from the blueprint side on the on the mobile site. When you break inheritance, what you do is that uh, you grab you. Any changes made on the, on the blueprint side will not be propagated on that specific element into the mobile site. However, you can re-establish inheritance if you want to later on. Now, this does allow you to make changes on uh, the content here. For example, I'm just gonna click here. I want to cancel inheritance, and now. I can modify this. However, any changes I make here will not be seen in the blueprint, and any changes I make in the blueprint will not be seen here. So you gotta take this into account if you want to. You, if you want to break inheritance, you can always save it back. But whatever change you made here, for example, this text here will be lost as soon as you do it. Now, as, uh, for a quick reference here, let's see, you can recreate the page, which uh, means starting from scratch, any changes, any, any new elements that were introduced in the mobile page in this case, 
that are not in the blueprint will be lost when you recreate them. This, however, is a, is a powerful tool. For example, when I last uh, on the last example where I missed a slash and I had to recreate the entire site, I could go page by page and change it, or I could simply recreate it and uh, the config will run again. That is actually what I did. Restore, if you make changes on the mobile page, you can always restore the, the page. For example, here are services. Uh, sorry, here. Apparently, not gonna let me. Well, if you make changes and you haven't actually propagated the changes, you can always restore it to a previous uh, you can always restore it to a previous um, version of it. Attach, if it's the exact same thing with uh, breaking inheritance or restoring inheritance, only that this is page level. If you detach, when you roll out the site, this page will not be updated. If you, if you attach, then the page will be updated. Skip, you simply do not want to roll changes on this one, and unskip if you want to roll changes. So you can see here's the legend, you can always check it out by clicking here on legend and uh, that should be it for the mobile website screencast. Thank you for watching and uh, stay alert for more screencasts from the Boston LCT5 team. Thank you very much.